So there are a ton of ways to effectively drop ship on Amazon from other suppliers and make money right from your house, right? And I've covered several different methods to do this already on this channel. I will drop several of those tutorials at the bottom of the description if you wanna watch them after this video, right? But in this tutorial, I wanna show how you can actually use just this one software, Seller Sprite, which is the software that I use for online arbitrage as well as drop shipping. There are a ton of tools, as you can see here. If you just hover over it at the top, it's got all of these different tools for whatever you might need, right? But today we're gonna to use the competitor lookup and I'm gonna show you how I utilize this tool as well as the free extension that comes with it to drop ship products on Amazon and find hot products that really nobody else is finding when they're using product research software, whatever that is, right? So I'm gonna run you through this tutorial and we're gonna start on Amazon just doing some manual research because you only literally need Seller Sprite to actually do it this way. So there's a bunch of different brands that are sold only on other websites, but not actually listed on Amazon, right? And if you know which brands those are, then it's really advantageous for you because if you just type that brand name into the search bar, you can see all the other listings on Amazon that's clearly not listed from the brand, but somebody has listed them on Amazon. And so that gives us a clue that whoever listed that on Amazon and whoever is selling that on Amazon is most likely either a reseller that bought it and is selling it second hand, which is usually not the case, or it's somebody drop shipping that product, right? So Mainstays is a perfect example of that from Walmart. Cobalt's a perfect example of that from Lowe's, but there are you know hundreds of these brands, probably even thousands. I cover a bunch of them in my dropshipping course, but you could also just Google them and find them for free. There are a bunch, right? So for this example, we're gonna use Cobalt. Cobalt is the Lowe's brand. Again, Lowe's owns that brand name. They don't list their products on Amazon, so we now know Anybody selling these is either reselling them, right? Because it's not Lowe's that's actually selling these on Amazon or they're drop shipping them, right? So let's click on the first listing just as an example here. And you can see just off the bat, all the different information that Seller Sprite's gonna actually give you. So it pops up with all these specific tools and all this insight here right next to the listing. It's also gonna tell you all the current stock levels and their price for every single seller on the listing right here. If you have the stock status bar checked on, if not, if you don't need that, then you could obviously just turn that off. There are so many different tools that you can actually utilize. So you can use the product calculator right here. So you input your cost of goods from your supplier. And then it's literally gonna tell you what your profit is, how much you're actually gonna make. So it's a built-in profit calculator, completely free comes with a software. But one of my favorite things is this historical trends chart that's built in because it gives you literally all the data that you might ever need to know about a product, right? Because a lot of times we want to look at the BSR of a product and you can use any set of tools to do that. I obviously have the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, but there are a bunch of those types of tools. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell you the sales velocity of a product in real time, right? So the sales velocity monthly and daily, but ultimately what that is, is it's only a snapshot in time for right now based on the best seller rank and estimating the sales that it's gonna get over the month and over obviously the days to come, assuming that it stays with that best seller rank, right? So it's a snapshot in time. But what Seller Sprite does is it goes one step further and it literally shows you all the historical data and all the other info that you need, a lot like Keepa does, but even better because you can look at the monthly sales here, what it is right now. Monthly, it's selling 1,023 units with 130,000, a little bit over revenue. But not only that, it's also gonna show you the historical trend over time. So you can see if a product is, for whatever reason, just spiked recently, but it hasn't sold that much consistently, obviously that would be a red flag, or if it's up and down, or if it's pretty consistent, or if it's been great, but it's you know still climbing as well. So you need to know the historical trend. Oftentimes it's not the best practice to just take a snapshot in time because then you're just guessing and things could change. Also, obviously you're gonna see the monthly sales. You could also look at the daily units sold. You could look at the variations, but another thing that's great is it shows you the BSR, the price, and the rating, right? So again, you're not just getting it in that snapshot in time, you're getting the historical trend and data over time. So if we click the best seller rank, we can see that 
a lot of times when you click this on certain products, the best seller rank might have spiked or you know dropped off really recently. And that's data that we wanna know. That's information that's gonna make it a lot easier to judge if this is a valuable listing or not. Same thing with the price, right? If we're estimating that we can obviously source this profitably now, but for whatever reason, the price has always been really low and the past month or the past few weeks, it's just spiked up to what it is now. Well, that's a major red flag as well because that indicates to us that we can't realistically expect to sell it at the price that the buy box is on currently for a long period of time. It's just gone up recently. It doesn't typically sell there. And obviously looking at this chart, it's pretty steady over time, sitting around 120. Sometimes it goes up to 150, but generally speaking, it kind of sits around 120, which is exactly where it is roughly right now. It's even a little bit above that, which is 130 roughly, as you can see right there behind it. If you can kind of see like the top numbers, it's 130.99. Same thing with rating. Why is rating important? Well, rating's also another indicator, right? Because we're not just looking at one data point. We want to look at all of them. Rating is another indicator. If the ratings are staying steady or going up, that it's selling consistently, right? But if the ratings aren't moving for an extended period of time, but for whatever reason, the best seller rank is good or you know the price is good, well, that's another red flag. Why aren't the ratings going up if it's selling consistently over time? And as you can see right here, the rating has stayed pretty consistent at about five and the reviews are going up and up and up. And that is a great indicator that it is selling consistently, right? So all of this data leads me to believe that this is a great product that's selling consistently, obviously has a consistent price and is something that we'd wanna go after assuming it, that we could source it profitably from whatever supplier, right? So that's what Seller Sprite provides you all of that data and more. I could talk about it literally for hours, but on the listing, it provides you with all that information that you could possibly need via these little orange buttons. Just click them and obviously it will show you all that information. Now, another cool little thing is the download images button. So for those of you that might be dropshipping on TikTok shop or moving products and dropshipping on other platforms, you could download the images instantly by just clicking the download images and then bam, it will download all the images for this product instantly to your computer, which then you can obviously upload to other platforms. Another little valuable tool that comes free once you have the software, right? So what I'm gonna do here is obviously on any product research software, it's gonna compare listings on Amazon to listings on other websites, right? And that's great because we can then look at price differences between those products and figure out what's a profitable product to list or you know buy ahead of time and then ship into FBA if you're doing online arbitrage or just list if you're drop shipping like I do most of the time. While that's a great method, a lot of other people have access to those product research softwares and are also scanning them and sourcing those products as well. So what's one way that you can go a step further actually, where you're as a drop shipper or somebody doing online arbitrage, gonna potentially see an opportunity that all those other people wouldn't see if they're using that same software. Well, what you can do is you can use Seller Sprite's competitor lookup tool here and then go on the listings that we know are from people that are drop shipping, because typically if they're drop shipping, they're not just drop shipping one listing or two listings or 10. Typically most, if not all, usually all of their listings are also drop shipping listings too. And so if we go and we find another good seller that's also listing on a listing like Cobalt, for example, that we know is a drop ship listing, then we can look at all their other top products, reverse engineer the supplier, list them ourselves, cut them out, maybe undercut the profit or match the buy box. And now we have all their best selling listings as well in our store, right? And then rinse and repeat. You just do that with all the top sellers on all the top products. And now you've really built yourself a successful store where your products are getting sales consistently simply because you just did what's already working for other people and added their top selling products, right? So how does this work in practice? Well, let's take a few of these top sellers over here. So this one's only got 60 ratings. They're fairly new. Veteran Supply Company, we'll click them because they almost have a thousand. Let's try to find one other one. So this one right here, Angeville Trading has 2,600. Decent right there, so we'll look at them. And all you need to do is click on them and you wanna copy their actual name so we can input that into the competitor lookup on Seller Sprite. And usually what I used to do before a software like this was available and a tool like competitor lookup was available was I would tell people to reverse engineer their best products a lot like I'm doing right now. But the only way to do that was manually, right? So you had to click into their storefront and there's no way to actually sort by sales on their storefront. So you had to manually go in and check all of their products one by one. And if they're a great seller, like we're looking at, obviously, that's gonna take you a lot of time or it's gonna take you a decent amount of money to pay a VA to do that for you. As you can see here, they have 12 pages of actual active products, but we don't need to do that anymore, right? Because we can just input their name 
into the competitor lookup tool and then search and it's going to organize all that data for us in real time where we can sort and find their best products instantly like that. So right off the bat, you can see it's sorted for units sold and the top selling product in their store are these women's sandals. So if we take the ASIN, we'd obviously want to make sure that we could sell that. We'd obviously then want to potentially reverse engineer the supplier for this product to see if we could actually get it profitably in the first place, whether you're doing online arbitrage or drop shipping that product, both can work. And then assuming all things are good, which I'll run you through an example here in a second, what you just want to do is either list it or buy a few and then ship them into FBA depending on your approach. So I typically like to avoid clothing because you usually get a lot more returns than you bargain for. And also you're dealing with a bunch of different sizes when you're listing or if you're ordering a bunch. So I t just as a rule of thumb, me personally, I like to avoid clothing items if they're not on Poshmark, especially on Amazon where returns are higher. So let's just skip down to the next product here and it's going to be these Febreze car air fresheners. They're selling almost 9,000 units for a revenue for the seller of about 107,000. So, and so what we do is we'd copy the ASIN to make sure we could even sell this in the first place, because if we can't sell it on our own actual Amazon store yet, if we're not ungated for it, then there's no sense in even doing any more reverse engineering and trying to find the supplier because we can't sell it at all. So we'll then paste the ASIN here in Seller Central to make sure we can actually sell it. So we'll click request approval and maybe we'll get auto ungated, which we are not. So, and now, so to get ungated for this product, you'd obviously need either brand approval or an invoice showing at least 10 units, which we obviously do not have from a reputable supplier because this is a retail product in most cases and not from a wholesale supplier, which is a completely different approach. So we'll just move on to the next product, right? So right here, we're gonna copy the ASIN, see if we can sell this one can't sell DeWalt. And typically I like to avoid clothing, but just as an example to not waste your time here, this is the first one I'm actually able to sell after requesting approval. And the revenue on this one is almost 90,000 units sold a little bit under a thousand here. So we'll check out this one. So the, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to click on this product and we're going to actually then try to reverse engineer it to find the supplier. So we click on the product, we're going to open it in a new tab and we're actually gonna check it out. Now, how can you reverse engineer the, obviously the price here on Amazon, which is clearly a drop shipping listing, as you can see, because they're charging delivery and it's not prime. So it's 106, but realistically, if you factor in the shipping cost on that on top of it, it's really like not 106. So the first thing we're gonna do to actually try to reverse engineer this is copy the title and then also use the brand name, which is Naturalizer. We're just gonna take that into Google, say Naturalizer, and then paste that in. And now we're going to try to match this up right here. So naturalizer, woman, joy, ankle straps, naturalizer, ankle straps, naturalizer, woman's joy, ankle straps. Same thing from here. From naturalizer directly. And it looks like they're on sale on the actual website right here for 80 bucks. So let's find the actual color to make sure that we've got it right. This is marigold yellow suede, although all the other colors are here and probably similar prices. So let's look for marigold yellow suede. Yep, marigold yellow suede. So we don't see marigold leather suede, but this one right here is light blue metallic leather. So we'll try to find that one. And so while we didn't find the original color, we did find a similar color, which is the pastel lime faux leather here. And if you look pastel lime faux leather here, this is on sale on this website for 80 bucks. And right now it's selling on Amazon for 120. So there's plenty of margin there. So this seller is either drop shipping this probably from the actual naturalizer website, or they're buying them ahead of time and then shipping them to FBA to actually sell them via Amazon, right? But this is a great opportunity because you could source this for 80 bucks, come back and sell it on Amazon and list it for 120 or list it ahead of time and then have naturalizer ship it to your customer first. And bam, just like that, we've reverse engineered a top product from a competitor by simply using their best selling listings by using the competitor lookup tool on Seller Sprite. So this is just one of the actual tools that comes with Seller Sprite. There are a bunch, but the value here is ridiculous. All you really need to do is find a product that you either know is hot selling or a drop ship product, reverse engineer a, another top seller on that actual listing, find their best selling products, and then reverse engineer a supplier that works for you. 
And a lot of other people might not be finding these similar products like we are because a lot of other people that are using approaches like this are simply using product research software like Source Mogul, which there's obviously nothing wrong with, or Tactical Arbitrage, which again, nothing wrong with, or any of the number of other softwares out there. But the issue with that is hundreds, if not thousands of other sellers are also utilizing those at the same time. And so while you're still getting great products, you're competing with other sellers doing the same thing. This is a way where you can kind of find other products that are diamonds in the rough that nobody else is finding except for the one seller that you're essentially stealing them from for lack of a better word. So give this a shot. If you want to try Seller Sprite, you can do so completely free through the first link in the description. Hope it helps.